Hello, crop box. Welcome to a back to another video of this YouTube channel that doesn't post very often. Today we are back with the HHR, and finally burnt out all the bad gas in it. It's been a few weeks. It's been driving it around, packing some miles on it. So now it's time to get back to street tuning it and figuring out what the heck's wrong with it. Also, uh, while I was driving it, it made a puff of some smoke. We think it's just running like a like a leanish, not like like. Something like, I don't know, Grant, Grant, you know how Grant explains things. He's not very clear. But he said there was something there that made it look like it was running lean. So I sent a data log to ZZP, and uh, hopefully we will get that back soon. And here is me data logging. All right, uh, let's go tune. So uh, Grant just told me as I was driving out that it was, like, making puffy, lean stuff. So that's kind of concerning, but... Uh, Got the computer right next to me. I'm kind of rocking this solo and uh, we'll see what we can do. The traffic sucks, of course. That's always great. Traffic on this road sucks. Well, this computer holds up with battery. Grip on uh, third, top, try to top out third here. And then we'll send it off to our boy Matt at ZZP and see what he has to say. Um, I think there's a vacuum leak still because it likes to rev hang sometimes. So that's something. Let's also pray the clutch holds up. The clutch has been slipping. It's a stock clutch, so and this thing makes way too much low end torque for it. Yeah, that thing sounded like hot ass. What was that? I think that was like a Hemi or something. Unpopular opinion, coyotes sound terrible. I know that wasn't a coyote, but coyotes sound terrible and Hemis have the same pitch like in their whole rev range it's like so if you hear a, uh, like a hemi drive it's like as well as going Wah! like an ls engine go listen to one you'll, you'll know what i'm talking about all right she's recording we're at about 3000 rpm give myself some space here and hammer it Four hours later. Hello fans, we are back to tuning again. Uh, my tuner just sent me an updated file because this thing is still making too much KR. So uh, we got Aiden here and we are back with tuning instead of me doing it on my lonesome. All right, at this stop we will start scanning, sir. All right. 3,000 RPM. Are you ready? I'm ready. fans uh bad news me and grant went ripping around i was ripping around the hhr because she was running really well and then all of a sudden uh i went savage and no lifted it because i forgot you're not supposed to do it when you're tuned and now it's not making boost everything's plugged in it's not in limp mode i checked i reflashed to tune I uh, unplugged the battery for like two hours, plugged it back in. Won't boost. But I did find oil in the housing of the wastegate. So that's fun. So I think I just blew the turbo. Um, I'll get under it in a minute here. Or for you guys, like, well, for me. You guys a minute for me, probably like a few days because I'm busy. But uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys what I saw. And um, I think I just blew up the HHR. You guys can see right there, there's oil steeping out of it. And everything's plugged in, but right there, there's oil. Oil's coming out. 
So that's less than ideal. I mean, everything looks fine. There's no shaft play or anything. Well, that's alarming. So um, that's tough. That's really tough. Because of that, I uh, pretty pretty sure the turbo is blown. So this video has come to an untimely end, even though I just I barely filmed any of it. Um, well, and I know you got pretty much have to drop the subframe to get the turbo out of these. So my next question is, do I go big turbo? Mm, do I not? But either way, since I'm dumping all the money in the blazer right now, I don't have any money to fix this. So it's gonna sit in the yard for a while. Um, Honeydew will be back eventually. Maybe I'll just save up because I also want to get wheels and coils for it. So maybe I'll save up, get a big turbo. I want to keep it on pump gas because it's daily. So if I can run low boost, pump gas, daily, I do need a clutch. So if I pull the, if I drop the subframe, pull everything out, I can split the engine and trans, I can replace the clutch, get a light and flywheel. Oh, so much work. These things suck to work on, but they're awesome little cars. Man, this sucks. This really, really sucks. Part of racing, part of modifying cars. What can you do? But I think maybe Big Turbo. I did find a company that makes like a slightly better KO4, a little more efficient. It's like a bit bigger, better turbine wheel or something in it. So I might put that and maybe just boost the horsepower a little bit. I don't know if I want to go Big Turbo because then I got to get a built trans, got to get built axles. And then I'm just going down this huge, huge, huge rabbit hole with this big car that's supposed to be just a daily and I don't need a big turbo HHR for a daily it's just kind of wacky this car has been nothing but issues to me and issues and issues and issues so unfortunately I'm going to put this one on pause because we're doing the trailblazer and we still have to do the Monte Carlo so once we get a shop and we get the Monte Carlo rolling I'll probably work on this thing which should be sooner than later I'm looking at shops right now it's just hard to find shops that let you work on cars in most of them just say no to that because it's like a liability thing so we're trying, I'm trying, everyone's trying. Soon, soon this car. If not, uh, we'll do the Monte Carlo and then maybe if I can find it, I think I can just take the valve cover off and like sneak the turbo out. So maybe, but still a lot of money. And then I'm absolutely gonna grenade my clutch. So I gotta do a clutch on this thing and a flywheel. Clutch for this thing's like seven, $800. So it's just thousands of dollars pulling up already. I don't have that right now because I dumped it on the blazer. It's the blazer we'll be back soon i have a video coming on that i think the shop said they would film it for me so that's pretty cool so once the blazer's back then we'll focus on this and the f body needs a few things so we're gonna fix some stuff on the f body it just needs it has a bad seat motor a switch a sticky throttle and a dock sensor which is like nothing nothing really just cheap little stuff so it sucks boys it sucks but hey part of it Please like and subscribe. I'll have a new video for you guys soon. Um, probably not of this. Probably not of that. Probably the Corolla. Which is back on its wheels. Hold on, you guys wanna see? On our wheels. Yay. So right now, this is a roll cage and radiator setup. So then hopefully our next video will be us starting and building that. So probably not a video for a few weeks. Sorry, it is what it is. Um, there's only two of us and we just, building cars takes time guys, so. Uh, please like and subscribe. We'll be back soon as I can. Maybe I can get some F-Body content. I don't know. But uh, we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.